Oh, okay. Now, Copernicus is going to be fixed, but also Copernicus is probably built by the same, the auto guy. I see what he did, though, with the gloves being purple, like Dexter, referencing that. But also, the share, uh, the mayor, listen to the dude from the, uh, the peg leg dude, and our share believes and knows that the fox lady is real. But all I was going to say is that, oh, they could have just said it's just a, like he ended up telling the mayor, wild animal. <laughs> I don't know why he went with whale, but still. Because <laughs> I was like, I was curious at first, why would the, Fox Lady wants them to know about her or where she's at. Then why would the auto dude betray her? But I was like, so I was right though, that the machines are the same. I just didn't know that till now that he built Copernicus. Not now, but in the future. This is what they're indicating. And that Zig can travel through time with his mind, because we already saw like back with his old previous reincarnation that he went somewhere. Don't know where, but probably somewhere in the future, maybe. So Copernicus is just further in the future for the auto guy. The Zig uh, figures out how to fix him. I'm finally looking around in that spot that he kept ending up in. And then Elf Boy, I'm glad they brought up the whole thing with the ship because I was like, I'm, I was with her. I said that when that was about that episode. <laughs> that was him, his version of help. And but she needs to listen. Melinda needs to listen to um. I can't remember her name. But yeah, you're know, trying to help her, but you also can't force help on people who aren't ready for it. But Copernicus is fixed. Just needs the power source. The fox attack. It's not done. Not done, but we'll, uh, we'll get to that. But when he was talking, like he know he don't know when to not talk and then when to talk. But I'm guessing this is gonna be complicated, though, with him with them going home to his home because we never we uh, didn't get to see it yet, so. And obviously, I don't think the world knows about his people or whatever, or wherever they are, underground or something. I'm curious to see what his home is like. And blood, do they mean blood, blood, as an actual blood, some blood sacrifice type thing or what? Curious to see where we go from here. Because the, the thing is not gone. Curious to see what happened to it and how that's gonna roll into the family. And then, uh, how uh, Melinda's, the person Melinda's possessing husband, the fiance, comes back into play because he obviously became a werewolf, or, I think. So I wonder when and how that's coming into play. But good episode, nonetheless. Super curious to see. How this all plays out. Really enjoying the characters though. This one dysfunctional team. Right now. They're not all how they should be. Not even the villain I think is how they should be. It's complicated. 